everybody so I'm gonna go through a little bit of the repairing my barbecue um, I already did some of the work but I'll show you what I did so please stick around check out the video and I'll see you there hey everybody so this is my old charbroil uh, barbecue it's probably I don't know 10 15 years old or so um, the plastic wheels that came on it were just garbage. They broke probably two years after I got it and I wasn't able to move my barbecue. I picked these wheels up. They're eight inch wheels, the same size as the wheels that came on it. But these are solid rubber wheels with a metal rim. Um, they're five eighths. I picked up this five eighths steel, um, bar round stock from Home Depot for eight bucks. Um, so I need to put these washers I picked up that are 5 8 um, I need to put them on the back side to push it out a little so the tire doesn't rub against the frame. The only thing I did was because it came with a quarter inch shaft, I actually drilled out the hole in the frame. So. This frame had a quarter inch hole in the bottom right here and on this side and I just took a step bit and my DeWalt 996 drilled out on the left side, drilled out on the right side for both legs um, and there's a good probably half inch worth of room from where the rod went through to the bottom so it's not going to affect it any. Um, the next thing I need to do is um, drill a hole with a drill bit through so I can put a cotter pin so uh, the rims won't fall off, tires won't fall off, and then I need to cut this off on both sides. So I picked up these washers to space it um, because when these rims are pushed up against the, the leg, it act, the tire actually rubs. So I just bought it's like twelve dollars worth of these washers is it was like 15 sets of two so we're gonna do that and then um, the the lights just uh, for an update those LED lights that I got for Amazon by Ambother one of them is was supposed to be here today but it, it is in Phoenix it went towards my house then it went back to Phoenix four or five times so I think it either went on the wrong truck several times but we're gonna be taking these halogen lights off for that so it's an update and then I'm just gonna wire them straight back in to the wiring harness I have here um, and I need to grab two more of these X clamps that I have in the shed because the bottom lights that I bought actually have two posts they're nine inch wide the ones that are going to go up here are seven inch wide, which are wider than these. And uh, hopefully I'll get it tomorrow on Saturday. But if not, the latest was Monday or Tuesday. Um, so I'll be doing an unboxing video of the lights. I got one pair already. Um, and then I'll be doing an install video. And we'll just see how well they work. Um, so thank you guys for watching. Uh, please like comment subscribe hit the bell notification icon if you guys want to see future updates and um, check the all button I can go check out my Amazon affiliate links and I'll see you guys on the next video peace